how to add trust badges to your Shopify store. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with adding a trust badge to your Shopify store. So a lot of times when you are adding products and you have all these products and you have ratings but no trust badges, it can make your site seem a little less legitimate. So adding a trust badge can really help your site and boost your sales because especially if you're providing products that are of high value, so things that are not just e-com, maybe you're providing services, maybe you're providing expensive items. So if you are creating an online store for those, having a trust badge can be a really impactful way to get more sales. So to do that, first thing you have to do is head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Once you're on your Shopify dashboard, you want to click on settings on the bottom left. And then once you click on your settings on the bottom left, you want to click on apps and sales channels. Now over here, you want to click on your Shopify app store on the top right. Now, once you have opened up your Shopify app store, what you're going to do is you're going to search for badges. So you can just search for store badges and there is an application called Trust Badges Bear. So this is the application that I recommend. There are other applications as well. The Sami product labels and badges, the SEO and Trust Badges and Icon. So all three of these are great and amazing badge platforms. Remember that the Sami product badges and labels only has a free plan. However, to upgrade to unlock all of its features, you do have to go for a premium plan. Now the SEO Ant and the Trustware badges both are free and you're just going to click on the application you like. I like Trust Badges. I like the badges bear. So once you click on this application, you want to click on install on the left side of your screen. And then your new screen will pop up where you're going to authorize the application. You're just going to click on install app on the top right. And once you have done that in a couple of seconds, your application will be embedded into your Shopify store. So now our application has been added. I'm going to pin it to my navigation on the left side simply to make it easier for me to access. Now, once you have added this particular application, you will see this pop up. Trust badges is disabled. So you're going to click on enable on the right side. And once you do that, you can click on test it in your store just to see what it looks like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get started with actually creating our trust badges. Now, you guys can see to get started, you have to first off choose your settings. On the left side, you will find your settings. So header text, secure checkout with, and then you have your font. Let's say I want to use this one. And then you have your alignment of the font like this. And then you have your font size. So I'm going to increase that. Then you have your text color. Now below that, you have your free plan. And then you have your badge style. So if it's going to be a mono card, if it's going to be the original card icons, if it's just going to be present within a card. So I like the basic card one. And then you have the badge size. You can go with extra small, small, medium, or large. I prefer going with the smaller extra small usually. And then you also have your badge size in mobile devices. So I'm going to go with small as well. And you can create custom margins for mobile devices as well, simply because mobile devices don't have a lot of space as well. Now the animation, you can choose to play this as none. I like to keep it a none because I don't find animations in our trust badges to look very reliable. Now after that, you have your bar placement. So to display this bar in a location that is not standardized, you can click on copy over here and just go ahead and put it in your template file. This will open up your Shopify template file and you can place it over here. So within your base CSS, you can go on ahead and scroll down and then whichever place you want to place this in, you can paste that over there. Now, once you have completed this, you can click on select badges on the right side over here. And then after that, you can display the ones that you want. So you guys can see there are quite a few different types of badges and you can choose the ones that you want. Obviously, these are secure payment badges. Let's say I don't want to illustrate that. I actually just want trust badges. So I can scroll down and you can see a bunch of different products. So you have free returns, free shipping, guarantee included, as well as cruelty free badges and i can scroll up as well 14 days 100 percent like this so i'm going to click on save over here and now i have replaced these badges now 
I'm going to also replace the header text with this because obviously it needs to reflect what we're talking about. Posted by everyone. And then for these bad sizes, I like to go with the original sizing just to make these slightly larger. You have your mono badges, you have your original badges. So once you add these, you can click on save on the bottom right. And this is going to be your bar preview. So once you have clicked on save on the bottom right, you can sell more with Honeycomb. This is one of their upsell features as well. And then you also have some product review features. Now, once you have completed this, you can actually go on ahead and view your online store to be able to see where your trust badges should be placed or where your trust badges are going to be placed. So as you guys can see, we have saved our badges. We have saved the basic placement, but we are going to... I don't want to display this just on product pages so this is you know only going to be displayed on product pages you guys can see trusted by everyone it's now showing all our logos so if you want this not on a home page you can copy this code and then you can go into the custom code of your website so what i'm going to do is i am going to open up the shopify store editor and you want to open up the code editor. So you're going to click on these three dots, click on edit code. And then in edit code, you are going to make sure you're adding your code into the right position. Now, to do that, a easier way is always to open up and inspect your Shopify store. And then you're going to find the code over there. So if I open up this like so, and I go ahead and add my custom liquid wherever I want it to be. Let's say it's here and I can create a section and then you can add your custom liquid. Then you can convert that code into a newer code as well, but you can insert code in that way to make it easier. Now, sometimes this might not work and adding it the original way is usually preferred simply because it always works that way. So if you want to do it the original way, you're going to go back into your application. So you're going to go back into the badges application. We're going to open up our trust bear badges. And once we open up our trust bear badges over here, we can actually go on ahead. And so we're just going to go on ahead and scroll down. We're going to copy our particular code and you can just open up the template file like this. This will just show you the precise location, but it's in your base CSS. And then after you have opened up your base CSS, you can go and add a new template. And this might be collection or this is just going to be like this. Click on done. And then in our particular page section. So let's say I want this to go directly into the assets base CSS. And then over here, I'm going to click on paste and then click on save. And this is right above one of our content containers. So in this way, you can find the perfect place for your code for your particular trust badge as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.